I was just wondering whether the panel has a view as to uh, what government should do or what uh, airlines should do in respect of the fact that Air France is in a position at the moment at least to acquire these new modern aircraft which are much more fuel efficient. But of course they sell these existing older aircraft uh, usually into the developing world so they continue to be there. And uh, it's a difficult thing because these are expensive pieces of kit. On the other hand, the contribution of more rapid scrapping of older aircraft in the worldwide fleet is perhaps something that could be looked at. Thank you. Uh, to some extent, Martin, your question is too intelligent. Uh, I'm not patronising you, it's too intelligent. All of this stuff is a bit of a sideshow because the R&D development of a, an airframe and engines is 8 to 10 to 12 years. The pre-production and the safety process is three to four years and it has a life of 30 to 40 years and trying to influence that is a function of when Air France is previously it is old and what's on the market and these things can be made better by better R&D and R&D support from governments and there's billions of euros floating around that does that and we welcome that but the cycle that you've described is is difficult to influence even by high taxes that's why the option of demand management is really the one that we push. We support, as these guys will tell you, all of these R&D initiatives. Uh, we fight for better air traffic management systems with Eurocontrol in as vocal and as aggressive a fashion as they do. But the, the, the issue is there is a cycle that's inherent in the industry and quickening that and speeding it up and trying not to have your junk sold to the third world is very, very difficult. It's very difficult. And whilst it's important, that particular focus that you mentioned is, is, is a little bit of a sideshow.